I think it's really important to have, you know, the utmost integrity. Honor your word. Do what you say you're going to do. You know, follow through with those things. We want to do things different. We want to do things better. We don't want to do things just because that's the way it's done. Badger hair has been used for, you know, 100 years or more, you know, for shaving brushes. Same with horse hair, same with uh, boar bristle. The way the hair is uh, made up, it holds water rather well. It creates a nice lather. Super soft. It's a great, you know, it's a great brush for shaving with. When I got in the business and really started selling a lot of these products, I want to know who I'm buying from. If you Google badger fur trade in China, you'll see that these animals aren't treated ethically or humanely. The animals basically are caged in horrible conditions. They're fed minimal. When they harvest them, they just knock them in the head. I'm not an environmentalist, I'm not a tree hugger, but I am responsible. And I did know at the point where we're selling thousands of these units every month that, you know, obviously I'm contributing. I didn't really want any part of it. I don't want any part of it. So we made a really obvious conscious decision to move away from all badger and boar bristle brushes. We really don't have a lot of preconceived notions. You know, we started out doing research, and, but we don't have any problem, you know, saying why. Why is it done this way? When we got our first synthetics in, we started to realize that these are, these are nice. They're really nice. They, they feel great on your face. They're super soft. It's amazing like how much better our really affordable synthetic brushes are compared to our very our old expensive badger brushes. In my opinion, we hit a home run. We all love the way they lather. They last a lot longer. They don't shed. There's no weird smells. It doesn't smell like a wet dog that you're lathering your face up with. And from there, it was a no-brainer. It's like, well, this is a better product. You know, it's synthetic. Um, they're not killing animals for it. Anybody that's in the wet shaving business, if they, you know, bothered to take a look behind the doors of where they get their stuff, they would probably change to a synthetic brush. If straight razor shaving was invented today, they probably would go straight to a synthetic. It seems like a natural solution to a problem. We have tons of brushes out there that are not for your faces that are synthetic. I mean, can you go to the store and buy a, like a, a badger scrub brush for your toilet? We're very agile on that, you know, the ability to look at things and do them different because we don't have a ton of history behind it. A lot of what we see with badger and boar brushes are strictly from tradition. You know, nobody's even given it a second thought. It's just this constant search for the best badger brush, the, the nicest, softest badger brush. Well, maybe the solution isn't badger.